Hey there, I'd like to thank you for checking out our presentation on our wildly important goal, 9 a.m. daily follow-up, incredible results in 30 minutes a day. Career in real estate means flexibility and freedom most of the time. This is great. Career in real estate also means a lack of daily structure unless you create it. This is hard. We want to help solve this problem. So we asked, what do top producing agents do differently than other agents? What do the top 1% do every day that other agents don't? Top producers do lots of productive things. They have SOI nurture programs. They provide awesome service to new clients. They juggle the thousand plus gotchas that can pop up on transactions. They go to classes to learn about industry trends. They run great market reports. They reach out to their local communities for new business. They ask past clients for reviews. They post on social media to stay top of mind. They're aces at listing appointments. They do lots and lots more. But none of these awesome productive activities matter if you don't do one thing. Consistently follow up with new leads and current clients every day. Enter our wildly important goal, our WIG. Consistently follow up with new leads and current clients every day from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Sounds simple, right? It is. The, this is by far the simplest part of the process. Interestingly, it's also what almost everyone has the most trouble with. The first step is to schedule and commit to daily follow-up. Don't mess with it. It's at 9 a.m. every day. I'd like for you guys to, to, I'd like to ask everyone for one favor. Trust me, if you block off this time, things will work out. Your clients will not leave you. Transactions will not terminate because you've time blocked your morning. But what if something comes up that I can't miss? Schedule around your daily follow-up. 9 a.m. closing? Ask if they can reschedule to 10 a.m. or show up at the end. 9.30 a.m. walkthrough? Reschedule to 10 a.m. or show up at the end. Relocation buyer wants to start touring at 9. Let them know you're booked until 10 a.m. and you can start then. Your 9 a.m. follow-up is an appointment that you book other appointments around. So what do I do every morning at 9? You want to clock in at your desk and you want to execute the follow-up boss daily workflow. But why clock in at my desk at 9 a.m.? Clocking in at your desk seems like an unnecessary formality. We can all work from our laptops on the couch. We've all done it and we all do it. The problem with working from the couch, a coffee shop, or your kitchen table is that you lose effectiveness and productivity. When you clock in at your desk, you get a productivity mindset, you get a larger workspace, and you use the website rather than the app. Clocking in at 9 a.m is an incredibly easy first step that is surprisingly impactful. Agents are naturally responsive to new leads. Agents tend to lose business when a lead becomes unresponsive for a period of time, usually two to three days. The goal of the follow-up boss daily workflow is to help make sure that no leads slip through the cracks. The focus of the follow-up boss daily workflow is on new leads, existing leads, and automatically generated tasks. There will be overlap between these. It's okay. The goal is to make sure that you're not missing any follow-up. When you log into Follow-Up Boss, you can find everything you'll need after clicking on the People tab. Here's where everything important lives. The first step is to go to Tasks and complete all of your current and overdue tasks.
Tasks are automatically generated by action plans. As you work through your tasks, it's important to see which action plan is assigned to each lead. You'll want to audit these and change the action plans if necessary. In order to change an action plan, you simply pause the current plan and assign a new plan. The third step is to navigate to new leads and follow up with all contacts in the same way that you followed up with your tasks. You'll then want to navigate to follow up now and follow up now too for steps four and five. These are both smart lists that look for active leads that you haven't communicated with in about a week. You still have time? Claim new leads and follow up with your sphere. All Pawns shows you the leads that are currently available to claim. SOI Nurture shows you your past clients that you have, that you have not communicated with in at least three months. Long Term Nurture shows you the leads with that stage without any communication in the last two weeks. It's important to understand how all of the smart lists work. These lists are built by looking at the stage of a lead, when you last communicated with the lead, and by tracking the lead and by tracking the lead's behavior. New leads are leads added in the last month with no follow-up in the past three days. Follow up now. The stage is a lead or have contacted. User has gone to the website in the last three days and there's been no follow-up in the past six days. Follow up now too. The stage is a lead or have contacted. The user has opened an email in the last three days, but there's been no follow-up in the past six days. This is how the All Pawns, Long-Term Nurture, and SOI Nurture lists are built. All Pawns are unclaimed leads that are available. Claim them. Work them. Long-Term Nurture are leads that have been set to that stage and who you have not contacted in two or more weeks. Check on them and follow up if necessary. SOI Nurture are people in your sphere or who you have closed who you have not who have interacted with an email in the last five days, who you have not communicated with in the last three months. Tasks operate a little differently. We use action plans to automatically add tasks. This helps, this helps you make sure that you follow up with newer leads. We automatically assign every new lead, either weekly follow-up or new lead action plans. As we discussed earlier, it's important for you to audit these action plans so the tasks are as helpful as possible. How will you know if you're making progress? You're going to see more closings in three to six months. Contracts and closings are lagging indicators. They're the result of your hard work. Do you want to see results now? Check the follow-up boss leaderboard. These are leading indicators. Whoever is leading the follow-up boss leaderboard today will be leading the Transactify leaderboard in three to six months. So to recap, you need to commit to 30 minutes a day at 9 a.m. You need to schedule around this high priority activity. You want to clock in at your desk every morning. You're going to execute the daily follow up boss workflow, monitor the follow up boss leaderboard regularly, and you'll close more business in three to six months. I'd like to finish by talking about the concept of a wildly important goal. Wigs are supposed to be uncomfortable, they're supposed to shake up your normal course of operation and thinking. Most intelligent, ambitious people don't want to do less, especially if it means saying no to good ideas. They're wired to do more, but there are always more good ideas than there is capacity to execute. When you choose a wildly important goal, you identify the most important objective that won't be achieved unless it gets special attention. In other words, your normal course of business won't make it happen. Thank you guys very much for sitting in on the presentation. I'd love to see everyone set this wildly important goal, and I'd love to see everyone close more business in three to six months.